Hey guys, Ivan here and in this video we have a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates and we are starting as you can see with an update of Urs Kaletsinski or let's say with his conditioning or with the state of his legs and we are about two weeks out of Arnold Classic at this point, a little bit more than two weeks and as you can see Urs looks completely shredded, like he's already freaking dry as hell. So the question is, can this guy, can Urs Kaletsinski become the new Arnold Classic champion? I mean, this guy is not preparing for this competition to be second, to be third or to place. No, no, I mean, he was third at the Mr. Olympia and he was beaten only by two guys, obviously Chris Bumstead, who is not competing at the Arnold, and Ramon Dino, who is competing. Now, the question here is simply, can Urs beat Ramon? And I feel like up until 2022 Mr. Olympia, it was pretty close between these two guys. Even though Ramon won, actually placed ahead of Urs at last year's Arnold Classic as well, I thought it was close and it could have went either way. But Mr. Olympia, I think the judges pretty much sent us a message. And that message was the only guy that comes close to Chris Bumstead, close enough to actually get in a call out with him, is this guy, Ramon Dino. Because everybody else was left aside and we had two men first call out. It was Ramon Dino and Chris Bumstead. In my humble opinion, I think Chris is far superior than Ramon. I don't think Ramon really had a chance against Chris. But he was the only guy that came close enough, which set him apart from the rest of the crowd. Uh, he was just much better than everybody else, including Urs Kletsinski, in my opinion. Urs also looked great at Mr. Olympia, don't get me wrong, he was much improved and there is one thing that really sets him apart from the others, there are probably a couple of more but there is one thing that I really noticed that is also matching Chris Bumster and that's Urs's conditioning, like this guy gets super duper lean, he gets really freaking hard, like he's really grainy and gnarly, so we can be sure that he's gonna be shredded at the Arnold Classic but is that gonna be enough to win? I don't think so, because Ramon, I'm sure, is also gonna be in great condition. Ramon always brings it, especially at last year's Mr. Olympia, he really figured out his conditioning. Uh, again, I mean, Urs is not only conditioned, he has also beautiful shape, great presentation, uh, great uh, energy, enthusiasm on that stage, charisma, call it what you will. So, like, he's a really complete overall, very complete classic physique competitor, but what he lacks, what he really needs is like a year off where he's gonna bring up all the lagging body parts because I think it's been like a year and a half or two years now that Urs stayed in crazy conditioning year long I mean he was prepping all the time he was he really didn't have a break so yeah he did improve still even though he stayed super lean uh, he gained more maturity I would say but at this point maturity is not really what he needs to improve he doesn't need better maturity, better conditioning, he's already very grainy, very, very shredded, what he needs is more muscle everywhere, really, like in arms, especially in arms, also his chest, also his back, shoulders for sure, the only body part that I would say is big enough would be his calves and you could make an argument for his quads and his glutes. Let's say his overall legs are pretty good, but as far as the upper body, he needs more muscle, man, he needs a lot more muscle. And after seeing this new video that he posted, he looks grainy, like he looks shredded, he looks so dry, it's crazy. But again, even though it's super impressive, I don't think that conditioning is gonna bring him a victory. Because I know Ramon Dino is also gonna be shredded, but he's gonna have more muscle, better shape, a more filled out frame. So conditioning alone is not gonna win worse an Arnold Classic. What he needs is an off-season where he can grow and progress. And if he does that, if he brings up his weak body parts, let's say his entire upper body, then we can talk about him beating Ramon. I don't think it matters what he does. I don't think he can ever challenge Chris Bumstead. I don't think anybody can today. I haven't really seen anybody with that much potential. 
But as far as being second in the world or winning the Arnold Classic against Ramon Dino, sure, I can see that happening. I think Urs can do that. But I don't think that's going to happen this year because he stayed lean. He didn't have an off season. He's going to look the same, probably maybe a little bit more matured, more conditioned. But as far as size, he didn't have enough time to bring up the body parts. So we're going to probably witness the same version from Mr. Olympia. And I know saying that is not super exciting, but it's the truth, really. And I think that's going to be the case with the majority of these guys and including Samson Dauda. So now you're looking at his most recent physique update, I think. Milos Zsarc, his coach, posted this and he said, uh, define bodybuilding, tag Samson Dauda. He says, taken five minutes ago, but these emojis kind of look suspicious to me. So this could be like five weeks before. <laughs> because, I mean, Samson never really got out of shape from the Mr. Olympia. He maintained the same conditioning and I think, I mean, I could be wrong, it could be just the lighting, but I think I've seen him more shredded in some other physique updates that he posted, but again, this could be just a different lighting. Now, let's assume that this is actually recent. If it isn't, it's maybe like a week or two or three weeks ago, maybe he's more lean now, maybe he's harder, but really, how much muscle can you add in 12 weeks from show to show? I mean, maintaining conditioning like that, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I'm sure he's training super hard and he's still eating a lot of high-quality food and maybe he upped the doses of some things and all that stuff cannot be in vain just to maintain his physique. So he's probably gonna be at least a little bit improved. I, I can see that. I mean, that is kind of the thing that Samson needs. Now, before I talked about Urs, and Urs doesn't need to improve maturity and conditioning. Like He's already super shredded, he needs more mass. Samson Dauda, however, different story. And we all know that your maturity, your conditioning, especially when you have a thick skin like Samson does, it improves with more preps, with more times getting super lean, super shredded. So I think in Samson's scenario... He is not going to be a ton bigger than the Mr. Olympia. Let's be honest, guys. Like, it's not going to happen. He is not going to grow his lats in 12 weeks or whatever his weaknesses are. Like, maybe shoulders, maybe, I don't know, tricep sweep in the front double, stuff like that. I mean, he's not going to grow all that, but he might come in more matured, more conditioned, with better detail, with better dryness, with more graininess. And in Samson's case, that can mean a lot. That can make a difference between him placing third behind Nick Walker and Big Ramy like he did at the Mr. Olympia and winning the Arnold Classic. I think so. Samson also posted this comparison photo right here and it doesn't really tell us anything about uh, what he's going to look like at the Arnold Classic. Not that much, but it's telling us how much he progressed in one year. Now, the four on the left, as you can see, is three weeks out of 2022 Arnold Classic. And the other one is right now three weeks out of Arnold Classic. So it's a huge difference. But as far as the Arnold Classic, we already saw that he was a ton better at the Mr. Olympia than that Arnold Classic. And if he uh, looks just the same, it's going to be a huge difference from his 2022 Arnold Classic version. What we want to see is him improving on his Mr. Olympia edition. Is that going to be a possibility? I don't know, guys. You tell me. You tell me what do you think. I believe he's going to be a little bit better. I think he is one of those guys that can actually make some pretty big improvements. Him, Andrew Jacked, I believe. I think those two guys can make a really big progress in such a short time because Andrew wasn't 100% on and Samson could be harder, could be more grainy. So if these guys improve that those things, they can be much better in place, much higher. As far as Nick Walker, I mean, he was already incredible at the Mr. Olympia. I mean, he peaked properly, like he was big and round and shredded. So I'm not expecting this guy to be so much better at the Arnold Classic. But the truth is, every time we saw Nick on stage, he looked better than the previous time. So <laughs> if you consider that then sure, it can happen, but realistically, Nick pretty much maxed out his physique, and he was super, super lean throughout this entire prep, 
And he is one of those guys that doesn't need to grow any muscle, really. What he needs, what he can improve on is conditioning. Sure, he can get even more conditioned. So he maintained a really low body fat throughout the entire prep. As you can see, he didn't lose any muscle. And once he peaks, once Matt Jansen peaks him, he's gonna look that much more incredible. So realistically, I think we all know he is the heavy favorite to win this show. It's nobody else. I mean, it's a possibility that Andrew can surprise us and show something insane and beat Nick Walker. That's who I would bet on because it's not exactly expected and I could win a lot of money if I was betting on that. But, you know, Nick Walker is a safe bet. As you can see right now, he's pretty much shredded. He looks really big, really full. And he's trying and he's actually succeeding in maintaining his abdominal control and just a flat stomach. Even though he has a huge bubble gut, you all saw it, he still knows how to control it when he's in the poses, especially when he's on stage. So really, what are Nick Walker's weaknesses? I mean, who from these guys that are competing against him can expose any of his weaknesses? I think he's pretty safe up there as long as he controls his midsection and it looks decent. Just like I said, there are guys like Andrew Jackson, Samson Dauda who can expose his waist. Those guys have super small waists, super classic looks, very aesthetic, very, very appealing physiques. But once again, Nick can control his waist and I don't think they're going to expose it, really. And he has very developed abdominal uh, muscles. As you can see right here in this photo, like his stomach is under control and it's really developed. So if you consider all that, Nick is still the heavy, heavy favorite to win this show because he's pretty much not going to have any major flaws. Like you could nitpick his physique and say that he has a wide waist, not super sweepy uh, quads. Maybe his chest could be wider and fuller, but those are like minor things. Everything else is like super insane and freaky and yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to win another Arnold. Oh, and yeah, for sure we need to address these photos of Big Ramy. And based on these photos, you can see that his conditioning looks good. And that's something we all knew. I mean, he was very conditioned at the Mr. Olympia. And he's never really out of shape, even when he has a long offseason. He's always pretty much shredded. Uh, he had problems with getting super dry for the stage before. But since 2020, he's like one of the more conditioned guys uh, I know how crazy, I, it sounds crazy to me because I remember, I mean, being mad at Big Ramy for like 10 years for not bringing good conditioning and now he's losing because of shape, because of muscles, because his uh, triceps have atrophied, uh, lats, uh, problems with his glutes and quads and stuff like that, so it's weird for me, but it is what it is, as far as conditioning, he's good. He is gonna be on point with conditioning. His maturity has come along in the past years quite a bit. So he has like the thin skin. He has uh, enough muscle, I would say, to be very impressive on that stage. But to beat Nick Walker, I don't think this version can beat Nick Walker. I don't think he's gonna beat him again. He beat him in 2021. But I think that was last year Big Remy beat Nick Walker uh, yes, his conditioning is great, but it's not all about conditioning. His conditioning was great at the Mr. Olympia as well. So overall, I still don't believe a Big Remy is gonna redeem himself. I think this year is gonna be the last year we watch Big Remy compete. Uh, he's gonna retire either after the Arnold Classic or after the Mr. Olympia. That's just my prediction. I hope I'm wrong. I hope he proves me wrong and he uh, shows up uh, fresh and new and beats everybody and wins the Arnold Classic to make a hell of a story. I would love that to happen, but if I'm being realistic, I don't think that's going to happen. And I don't think he's going to beat uh, Samson again. I also don't think he's going to beat Andrew. Uh, Andrew Jacked again. I don't think so. And honestly, I don't see him beating Bonac or Sean Clarida. So based on what I'm seeing right here, I have him in sixth at the Arnold Classic. Best case scenario. Uh, in case Akim Williams or Justin Rodriguez don't beat him as well, but we'll see. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up for more stuff like this about bodybuilding. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks again. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.